Yeah. Okay. All right. Bye. Love you. Bye. Love you. He didn't say love you, mate. He didn't say love you. No, it's made me sad now. The beast ah, didn't say get out in. Flipping huskies, trying their luck. Give an inch, take a yard, that sort of business. Bit of brushing today. Right, now. Okay, here. Okay. Funny old dog. I mean, look at this, it's just started brushing. I mean, look at it. It is ridiculous. You'll see by the time I've finished what sort of hairiness there is that ensues. So here is the fluffiness from the brusiness. There he is. He bloomin' loves it, doesn't he? Well, half the weight now, Bruce. More of it there as well. Morning. Good morning. How's it going? Loving it? Loving it. Hello. Felix. Good morning, guys. It is a lovely day. Oh, for, for UK, it is a good day. But there's a lot of stuff that I need to do. One of the first hurdles of today is that the milk that we had has gone off. So there is no milk, which means that we cannot have tea. And that's something that I need to solve. But apart from getting some tea, I need to get some uh, Stanley blades just because uh, I need to cut off some plastic bits to, uh, in order to fit a board or at least try to try to do it. Because Gotway loves to change their board designs and most of the time it's fine, but in this case, mm, not really. Basically, they've made a larger heating area and because of how they've they designed their chassis, things don't fit properly, so I have to cut off, I guess, a, uh, a plastic molding for a beeper, which is currently empty anyway. So I need to remove that in order to fit the, uh, their new board. Okay, so I got the milk and I got some new Stanley blades and some uh, duct tape, which will be uh, required to have like a proper seal when I uh, open up the, um, uh, well, when I cut uh, the plastic on the plastic part on the wheel. Talking about what a group of butterflies together are called. Something I learned this morning. Gang. It's a gang of them. They go around beating people up. Mario, any takes on the scrum gang box? It's a kaleidoscope. Heard. Oh. Heard. Heard. Yeah, heard. <laughs> a herd of butterflies. <laughs> yes. Uh, so, Mike, what are you? Uh, 95. 95? Yeah. Flipping heck! That's a lie, that's just... Oh, okay. <laughs> that's a total lie. I'm not really... Can, can you just plug in this wheel to church? Right. Uh, Strip off naked. Actually, I have worked in it. Mike stripping off naked. That's not bad. 81 for Mars. 81. There we go. So, getting there, slowly. So... This is the buzzer molding that I need to remove. So I've made some progress, but I need to figure out how I can fill the hole the, or the best way so it's, it's secure and weatherproof. And in the process, I cut myself twice. But anyway, that's to be expected. So funnily, I brought a, uh, a box of plasters um, today to work just because I think we were running low or we were out of plasters. And I thought me working here, it's best if there's some plasters. And surprise, surprise, <laughs> today I had to use it. Anyway, it is lunchtime and both Mike and Ian are hungry and they don't bring their lunch like I do most of the time. So it is co-op time. Got any boiled eggs? Mike, Mike says, got any boiled eggs? Boiled eggs? Uh, yes, they have boiled eggs. They got boiled eggs, Mike. 
So take two. Mike wants a board egg. I'll have a pork pie, okay. please, because I'll have one of the pies. I'll just get me a diet one as well. Okay, two diet ones. Yeah. And then boiled eggs and pork pie. Yeah, that's the boys. Well, small okay. pork pie, yeah, and it's two cups in a pack of two, doesn't it? Little one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the little ones. Yeah, they, yeah. they, they, they look fast and disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah. I'll, I'll, get, I'll get you there, though. Yeah. Okay. All right. Bye -bye. Love you, bye. Love you. He didn't say love you, Mike. He didn't say love you. No, it's made me sad now. And I'm back at Speedfit HQ with some good food. Oh, mio Dios. But still, food is better than no food. And how do you know it's Monday? Because trolleys are always full. People love ordering over the weekend, which means that Mondays are always busy. Okie dokie. No? Oh, yeah. Dirty rat. Right. It's quarter to seven. Time to go. Been sat at my desk all day sorting stuff out. Typical Mondays. Say goodbye, Bruce. Goodbye. Good. Bye. Bye. Good morning, guys. It is a lovely day at the Speedy Fit HQ, and today I have a very important task. I have a V8F that's been sent by a customer, so I'm just gonna swap some parts. I think you already well saw me starting on it sometime last week, but today I'm gonna finish off the project and then send it off. And there's a, that's a quick time lapse of uh, the V8F. When it comes to like, the trolley handle, because we swap them, you can, I don't know if you can even see how like bent they are. This is probably not ideal, but so that was really causing some issues because you couldn't, you couldn't really get the um, trolley handle back in, in place. Because if you actually force it all the way down, then it doesn't go up. So we swapped the struts and now it's like buttery smooth. Don't tell Ian, but I secretly put some sugar in my own tea just to make the taste a bit sweeter. And that's the Inmotion V8F sorted, all packaged, ready to go. This M Super Pro had a blown board, so I just uh, swapped the boards. And because the, the new board, again, has a slightly different design, what happens is that the small light board sticks out a little bit so what you need to do is actually move the fan by probably a half a centimeter further back and that gives you enough space to like clear the board and then you can then install it put the fan back in and pretty much you're good to go so it's a pretty pretty straightforward fix so now i can uh, close off the the wheel put the side panel back on and then let the customer know that uh, he can uh, come and collect it or uh, if he's happy to pay for shipping, but he did deliver it personally So he might need to come and pick it up So this Sherman was showing a hole error or some, something like that But the thing is I couldn't quite replicate the issue because I just activated it um, Just moved it around but it's like fine so but I've seen a video where it actually doesn't doesn't do well It like errors out so now the question is what could be causing the issue because it's it's not a persistent one so it's on and off on and off so might be a loose connector but yeah let's let's open it up at a first glance everything looks fine so now it will be the case of a b testing just to try and replicate the issue and then see if there is any any difference in the board or yeah i don't know that because that's that's one of the annoying things that if a problem it's is inconsistent like sometimes you have a problem sometimes you don't it's it's even more challenging to like figure out what is actually wrong because at least the cable was um well plugged in um and i don't see that it's 
some of the cables have been cut or anything like that when it comes to like the motor hole um, sensor cable. Hopefully I'll be able to figure out what is causing the problem. Good morning guys, it is a Wednesday and it is the live show day and obviously what goes very well with the live show is a nice cup of tea. Although this is a bit dirty, but still should be drinkable water. Does anyone else use the two spoon technique to um, get rid of the uh, ex excess water in the tea bag? Since you have one spoon and then you press it against the other spoon so you make sure that all of the water or like tea is out of the uh, tea bag so you get the maximum out of it. It took me probably three years to come up with this technique probably not it's not original but it does work so that's good I'll take it as a win today it hasn't been that exciting of a day because I've been doing mostly customer support and just doing some uh, research for the live show trying to find some some cool stuff and wow 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 we have some uh, more information on the new veteran wheel or leopard king wheel the Abrams and on the live show Ian will be talking about his first impressions Obviously we just have one photo and a spec list, which is not a full spec list. Kind of just gives you an overview of the wheel. A couple of weeks ago I asked veteran if they have a new wheel in coming in and they did say yes. And then when I asked for information they didn't say anything. So I was like, okay. It is slightly annoying that they didn't give us this information previously to us actually finding it on Facebook. And that is just disappointing. Okay, let's go and set up the live show studio because it's nearly four o'clock and it's time to go live. How was the live show? Brilliant. About 15 million phone calls. When I came off to go and answer that phone call, whilst I was on that phone, I had four missed calls. Wow. And a voicemail. Ah, this is the voicemail, yeah. Brilliant. Good morning guys, it is a Thursday and another exciting day at the Speedy Fit HQ. Uh, I'm gonna do a couple of picking, or a bit of picking, just because someone has ordered a replacement charger, a V11 charger. And there it is, so I'm just gonna go and ship that out. So I am in Ross on Y and the camera guys are here which is pretty sweet. So I gotta go in now and uh, catch up with them. I was doing some paperwork in the car and Joe just rang to say they're here. I was like, hang on a minute, sat right next to them. That's the camera going in. And then we got the dome one as well. Which is going up. There's Gareth, fin it all. There we are, look. Yeah, it's gonna work perfectly now. It was installed in the correct position the first time. So. <laughs> Yeah, no, no holes in the uh, ceiling that I can see. No, I've just got the hole in the frame there, it's like massive. <laughs> we will cover that. Yeah, cover that, that'd be filled in. Like it was never there. Bulgaria. So just got a delivery from a DHL driver, which happened to be Bulgarian. So, uh, a, another Bulgarian living in this country. And I will leave all the warehouse duty to Mike and I will return back to do some video editing. Okay, so I'm kind of tired looking at the screen just because I've been doing some, well, the video editing on the vlog, but then also some customer support. But yeah, I've been sat down for quite a while looking at the screen, so I wanna change that. And there is not much water in the kettle and a lot of mugs that need to be washed. So I'll just go to the community kitchen now. Cups are washed, so my physical break is over now. So I will return to the computer and continue staring at the screen probably till the rest of the day. Back in the day, we had an idea for a show called Maintenance Mondays, where as I'm doing repairs, I'm recording what I'm doing and then just putting a, a, a voiceover so I so I'm explaining the steps and just try and make it easy for people that want to do the same thing. Like for example, if you want to swap a motor or you want to change an inner tube 
or you want to swap a board. These things aren't that difficult to do, but if you have no experience, then that could be tricky. So actually having a resource where you can look and see how someone is doing it could be very helpful to people, especially first time owners. Let's have a look at the intro. And if you have any ideas or suggestions or you're excited for this new, new idea, new concept that uh, I'm working on, do let us know. <music> And whilst I was editing, I got a phone call that we have a delivery. So I went to have a look at it and it is a massive delivery. So here we have thousands and thousands of rubber rounds for the paintball business. And I assume Mike will be very excited to count every single box that's, uh, that's here. Like all the contents that are inside the box because you have some uh, containers with like a hundred uh, rounds. So he has to kind of count all of them just to make sure that it is the right number that we've ordered. Hello. Joe started watching the vlog. <laughs> Joe's now in the vlog. <laughs> but we're here and it's now 5.35. I've got my tea. Um, but we're all packed up because the setting up that football counter camera system uh, was a little bit problematic. This one, piece of cake. But so that's an 8K camera. Um, but that one, tiny little thing, but... Nonetheless, really awkward to set up. All done now, isn't it, Joe? Yep. So we can actually go, which is good. And it's raining outside. And this is the end of the day. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay, I am here in Mitchell Beans. No dog. Let's turn this off. I've got to go take a lone motorbike to go and get mine. It was in for a service. Boy oh boy, did it cost a lot more than I thought it was gonna. Stupid door. Cost loads more. Um, so I had a puncture. Mobile tires aren't particularly cheap. But got a call. Not just a front tire, not just a rear tire, you need a front tire as well. Oh, we've got 200,000 of those in. Which is significant, probably six months worth, I don't know. Something like that. No one's in, but I've got to be back. It's gonna be super tight. I gotta be back by. Uh... Hello, Matt. Oh, no, I'm in. I go back home at ten. You haven't seen a lot from me. I've had a lot going on. Super amount stuff I can't film. So for me this week it has been tiny, and literally I am going now. And that is the loaner bike. Nothing as good as the one I got. It's like a commuting tool not quite as uh, comfortable hey anyway, i gotta go good morning guys another exciting day um at the speedy fit hq now we're going to get a massive delivery i think it's 18 boxes And whilst I'm out in the warehouse, uh, I might as well also process uh, one of the orders because someone just bought a V5F, which is a really nice wheel. This is exciting, isn't it? Yes. Counting rubber rounds. And after helping Mike with the delivery, now I will head off and finish off the vlog. And I could probably also do some work on the uh, repair uh, series. So just to like, figure out the best format. So it's actually informative and, and also enjoying to watch. Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's vlog. The vlog of Mario. Mario um, Weekly. We, Mario Weekly. And uh, we will see you when we see them. Probably live show. Live show, most likely. Yeah. Unless you're riding around in the forest somewhere and we happen to come across you. <laughs>